Today we're going to be looking at the one-up EDC tool set. This set has three components, the tool itself, the tap kit, and then the space ears for the headset. This entire kit will run you about $120. All right, so let's have a little look at so what we get in here. So we have a bunch of different spacers. So that you get your spacing perfect. You have the screw cap, and this takes a standard like set tool to tighten. And in the bottom, or for the bottom of the fork stair tube, we have a plug that the tool will actually set inside of. That's actually kind of neat. I like that. Got the bike in the stand, wheels on the floor, to support as we remove. So we're going to remove the star nut. And we use Allen key here. Basically all we're doing is leveraging that out. Feels like it's coming out pretty easily. And what we ended up with was pulling the center out of it, which means we got to take a little hammer and tap those free. That's some star nut. There's two. That's your star knot. That's the rag up in the bottom of the stair tube. There's some burrs left from that star knot. I'm just going to file it down like that. Alright, star knot removed. Alright, so the next thing that we've got to do is we've got to make sure that we have enough stair tube. It would really kind of be a shame if we were to find out now, after all of this, that there wasn't enough. So this tool here, the checker, slides on, and as long as there's space between the top of the headset and the tool, we're okay. Luckily, I have about a millimeter. Makes me a little nervous, but it says it's good. So, let's get to tapping. So I've got my tap, I've oiled it up, I've got some oil in here. To help it cut, I'm going to take our, take our guide, we're going to drop our tap into it. And I'm going to use this big guy. Yeah. The uh, checker here is going to make sure that our tap taps straight and then it's not cross threaded, which is pretty nice. The way we do this is we're going to go a quarter turn forward. And then back, and then forward, and back. So 
forward. Should never be difficult. Should always feel pretty smooth. We're going to tap until the tool bottoms out on tap guide. Fast forward through this. And it looks like we have tapped out. So. Run through those threads once or twice, all the way top to bottom. And that's also nice and smooth. There we go. We are tapped. Next thing I'm going to do is start to clean up all those metal chips. I'm going to take and push a rag through. I'm going to do that a couple times just to make sure it's nice and clean. Got everything cleaned up nice and tight. And we're going to start to reassemble. So, stem back on. And you need at least a couple millimeters on top. So, that spacer looks pretty good. And I'm going to grease those threads up. Next is our top cap. That's going to thread in beautifully. All right. I'm going to grab a cassette tool, get that tightened down. All right, so one of the cool things about this tool is it actually comes with a top cap tightener. So I'm going to use that. I get the tool out here. I believe. This little guy is going to do it for us. see how well it works. And beautiful. I'm going to line the uh, stem up. Tighten up our pinch bolts. I'm going to use a torque wrench so that we actually get those pretty much spot on. And down here it says 8 to 70. Zero out tool. So a couple steps left. I'm going to insert into the bottom of the steer tube. Not 100% sure. Yep, I can do that. That's 
That's it. We're done. How cool is that? Pops out pretty easy. Awesome. Always riding with a tool. Good deal. Thanks for watching, guys.